So now that I have my Flutter demo homepage app up and running, I'd like to kind of change the behavior. So what I'd like to start with is a drawer. How can I add a navigation drawer to the left? So if I look in the main.dart, there's a class called scaffold. And what I can do is check to see how I can change a behavior by control click and looking at the attributes I can change. Now these are probably going to be more like global attributes for the application, such as the drawer. So I'm going to add the drawer, which is a parameter to the constructor, and then I'm going to name it drawer. I won't nest it in this case, so we can easily read it in this tutorial. So I'm going to go drawer, drawer equal, equals new drawer. Okay, so now that I have a drawer constructed, let's just refresh the app and see how it looks. So I'll go up and then do a hot reload and the app will upload. And if you don't see it, just click and drag that this initial, there's something that needs to be tuned here, but let's say there's Mr. Liney, I can click on them and now I have a drawer. That was really easy. Compared to changing the XML on an actual Android app, it's quite, it's so much easier. Okay, so now what do we, what can we do with a drawer? Let's add a list view. So what does a drawer take? Control click. I can see that there's a child parameter and then I'm going to do list view as the child. So I'll go up and work this backwards, list view and go list view equals new list view. And in this list view, let's see what it takes. It takes children. So I'll do children and we'll create a, an array of children or a list of children or chill children equals and we'll add a child to it and that child what do I want to do let's do a text for child child one equals new text okay so now we have some let's say first okay so there's our first child of the list view that goes into the drawer and that drawer is added to the scaffold so let's do a hot reload and see what happens so we go over here and check Oh, there's first, you can barely see it. It looks like we need some padding. So let's add some padding. Okay, so padding, padding equals new padding. And then it it takes a child, so this becomes a wrapper basically, and add some padding. So we got a child, one, and then we gotta change this to padding. And we'll, we gotta add padding. And this one is um, padding, so we need Oh, we can't have two names of the same thing. So pad, so var pad equals, we do a constant of edge incense only, and let's do eight. Oh, eight, okay, let's see, left, left eight, left eight, bottom eight, right eight, top 50. 0. 0. 0. 0. Okay, so now that we've got our edge insets defined, we can hit the hot reload, and there we go. It keeps its state, and now we have the first item. So if I wanted to add a second item, let's just quickly duplicate this and we'll get a second item. So here we go, padding and to, this may not be the ideal way to uh, duplicate it, but it gets the point across that how easy it is to construct and refresh the Flutter application. And look, let's go second. And you can see how fast the hot reload is, and this is, I would say much faster than the reload in the application or Android Studio um, reload. So there we go. There's a quick way to add a drawer to the scaffold of the application. Now that's Flutter for you. Thanks for watching and catch you later.